Okay, everybody. So, I have everything set up to do the reaction here. There is 10.1 grams of stannous chloride here in um, this round bottom flask. The protocol calls for 12 grams of the dihydrate, but of course, my stuff is the anhydrous stuff. Um, it has to be dissolved into 75 milliliters of 3 molar hydrochloric acid, which I have here. And I'm really hoping that it's going to dissolve easily with it not being the hydrate. Huh? Only one way to find out, I guess. Hello. I have this here um, in this bowl because the solution has to be chilled after we form it. We are going to bubble chlorine gas through this in order to create a solution of tin tetrachloride. Then we are going to add ammonium chloride to this and um, allow it to crystallize out in the cold overnight to get, in order to get our product. Um, I have a drying tube on it. You don't need a drying tube the way everything that I've been able to find reads. But I'm going the extra mile just to be sure. This is not completely airtight. So, but I mean, it should fill up with chlorine gas. So, hopefully it will provide a blanket under which everything else can be done. Once the chlorination is done, we have to warm this up and then add the ammonium chloride to it. So, anyway, we have our standard chlorine gas generator over here where we have trichloroisocyanuric acid in there and we will have some hydrochloric acid up here um, just as soon as I get the stannous chloride dissolved in the HCl. So I will come back once that's done and I'm ready to get things started. Okay, everybody, so here is our solution of 10,4 chloride in HCl. You can see the solution turned yellow because of the excess chlorine, so that's how I knew it was done. I let it keep bubbling for a little while longer just to be sure, and I am trying to keep the sunlight off of it. I don't know that it would hurt it in any way, but just to be safe, I'm going to try to keep that contained a little bit. Now the protocol now says that we have to heat this up to 50 degrees C and we also have to heat up a solution of 6 grams of ammonium chloride in 25 mils of 3 molar HCl. Well I'll tell you what, you start warming this stuff up man and it smells like pulmonary edema badly. Just FYI y'all. If you do this inside, make sure you've got really good ventilation, because, damn. Okay, everybody, so this is at approximately 50 degrees. Um, I've got a solution of ammonium chloride here. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, it got a little warmer than 50 degrees, but it's cooled down now. I think it's close. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this in here, carefully. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, wow. God damn. Oh, Jesus. You can taste it. Oh, that is fucking foul. Oh, that was really, really gross. Ugh. Oh, don't do that, kids. God damn. Man, I hope evaporating this shit down is not going to be some kind of fucking chemical warfare holocaust. I really do. Because it has one hell of a fucking odor. And the taste of it, that was not normal chlorine, man. 
that was not just chlorine. It was very astringent, very, it just like sucked the moisture right out of your mouth instantly and tasted slightly bitter. Ugh, yuck. Well, I guess now we know what tin tetrachloride tastes like. <laughs> Only on the poor man's chemist, y'all. Only here. Um, I'm going to let this stir and cool down slowly. Okay, so we have us a bit of a conundrum here. So, trying it the science madness way of just cooling it down to get crystals works. You can see them there. They're very pretty. See? They're all nice and sparkly. So, I mean, there is our compound. There it is. But the textbook says to evaporate this down over a steam bath until we get crystallization and then filter these off. Okay, so I'm going to try airing this fucking thing out first. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to try. I'm going to see what the fuck happens. Um, maybe it's just the chlorine. I mean, because there shouldn't be any tin tetrachloride. Um, I just... I mean, I think you need to be careful with it, but maybe it's just the chlorine. I don't know. Well. Here goes nothing. Man. We'll know very fucking soon what it is. Okay, everybody, so I've got this um, where it's been chilling down in ice water for a little while. We've got some beautiful crystals here. The temperature of it is, yeah, it's about 13C in reality when I measured it after stirring it up earlier. It's more like 11, close enough. We're going to be content with that. So I've set up the filter here. Want the hose popping out of there when I turn it on full blast and spraying the extension cords, that would fucking suck. I found a big lead ingot in the yard one day that's been there for god knows how long. That's proved to be very useful. Okay, I really don't want to get this shit out of here. Very careful. Extreme caution. Walk very slow around the tripod. Oh, that fucking thing is way too far. I'm gonna rinse my hand just to make sure. Okay. Alright, we're good. Alright, you still focused, you piece of shit? Probably not. Right. Watch closely, because I'm not doing this shit more than once. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Got a nice big mess of crystals there. Look at that shit. Just goes to show no guts, no glory, I guess. You gotta breathe a little chlorine if you wanna make it work. That should be the motto for this channel. Don't be up close to Hey, stop sticking to that. Alright. I'm going to take a little bit of the filtrate and rinse it out here. That's probably way overexposed. You can't even see it itself. Take my word for it, there is still some crystals in here. Okay, fly, get the fuck off of me, goddamn son of a bitch. Okay, still focused. Yes, you have to 
swear violently at the insect life to make it go away. It totally works. All right. That has got it. I'll let those suction dry for a little bit and then I will come back after I've gotten it off the filter. Okay, let's wrap this shit up. It dissolves freely in water. I would have thought that it would break down in water. And it very well may be doing that, but the end result is still the same. It disappears and produces a clear solution. Whatever the fuck is going on. <clears throat> I'm sure I've got a subtitle up there that tells you what reaction it happens with water. I don't recall it offhand. But I don't think it's stable in water, although clearly it's stable in a 3 molar HCl. Alright, and since I didn't make this for any particular reason, I I'm not going to screw with getting another run of crystals out of there. The textbook says you can. It certainly looks like you could if you wanted to evaporate it down some more and go through all this hoopla all over again. But I'm kind of over it at this point. <laughs> And besides, I have a nice sample of it for my collection. So, there we go, everybody. Ammonium hexachlorostanate. I am, um, I guess I'm just going to pop it in the desiccator for a little while. Let it completely, well, I don't know. Eh, yeah, I'll let it dry out for a little bit, and then I'll bottle it. So, you know, check either the BitChute channel where I can actually post pictures of shit in the comments or Facebook or wherever. I am going to start a Discord channel for the, um, or server rather for the channel very soon. Um, I also just signed up for Parlor, so we'll be adding that to the channel as well. Um, I'm not using Twitter. Fuck that noise. Um, <laughs> I don't even like using YouTube and Patreon, and I wouldn't if they weren't the biggest games in town. But whatever. The, the, I'm sure, you know, it'll be like the next time they decide to fuck themselves and I get over 30 subscribers on BitChute in a 24-hour period because they want to change your rules again. It's coming. Anyway, so, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, I understand. Stick around. I think the next video will be one that you will thoroughly enjoy. Comment, subscribe, share the video, and until the next one, y'all, I will see you later. If I can still fucking breathe after all the goddamn vapors.